What's up, guys? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. Today is the 1st of October, and so I am starting a three-part video series on Oktoberfest beers. It's going to be three three videos, two beers apiece, and so uh, six beers total we'll be checking out, and I'll probably and I'll be ranking them uh, after the fact. But we're going to get started with two beers in this video. First one is from Thomas Creek Brewing Company in Greenville, South Carolina, Oktoberfest Lager. Just a, a little bit in terms of notes from the brewery. A smooth, well-rounded lager that is perfect for the changing seasons. A toasted caramel malt flavor dominates but is balanced by an ample amount of noble hops. Malts used include Turo, Munich Bonlander, Carapils, Caramel 10, and Caramel 60. Hops used include Hallertauer Tradition and Spalter. This beer is 6.5% uh, ABV and 23 IBU. Let's check it out. All right. Nice, pretty golden color as I look at it. Hold up to the light. Maybe just a little bit more yellow, but a nice, nice orange gold color. Maybe half a finger's worth of uh, head on top, and you can see some bubbles going up through the, going up through the the beer, but overall probably not too carbonated. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. A little bit of sweetness to start out, and nice, uh, nice toastiness as well. I would say that, as advertised, nice malt, nice malt backbone and uh, plenty of caramel malt flavor, as they say, dominating the, uh, the flavor profile of the beer. Uh, detecting maybe just a hint of bitterness from the hops, uh, but uh, nothing too much in terms of a, a hop profile or a, a hop flavor profile. Uh, really tasty, though. Um, in terms of a, an Oktoberfest beer, this is not my, uh, usually not my my type of, uh, not, not my season for beers, and we'll get into that in a in a moment, but um, this is really tasty. Um, something right up my alley. Yeah, quite simple, quite quite straightforward. Just uh, caramel malts and uh, nice sweetness. Not an overpowering sweetness, but um, real nice sweetness. Um, fairly dry. There's a little bit of a little bit of aftertaste hanging around um, in the back of my throat, but. Uh, Again, that's not too overpowering either. So this was the Thomas Creek Oktoberfest Lager. So before we move on to the second beer, and uh, I kind of want to get this uh, out of the way now, so I try not to hammer it home in all of these videos, but needless to say, fall is not necessarily my most favorite time of the beer year, if you will. And even going into winter, uh, I can say the same thing. Uh, cinnamon... Nutmeg, allspice, these, these are all uh, nice things in a beer in uh, very mild and limited quantities. But I find a lot of the Oktoberfest and pumpkin beers uh, just can really bring way, way, way too much of these these spices into the beers. It makes them overpoweringly spicy, overpoweringly sweet. Uh, and as I said, it even gets into the, the winter beers a little bit too, the, the beers for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. Pardon me. Um, and winter usually is sometimes getting into Christmas, and after Christmas isn't so bad because you're uh, getting into the winter warmers that are just a little more hearty overall. But uh, again, those overpowering spices that some brewers put in these fall beers just can be uh, just can be a big, big turnoff for me. And again, this Thomas Creek, that I, this Thomas Creek that I just had was uh, not too bad at all. And we'll see how the, the next one is from Ballast Point. But, um, yeah, that's my thought on the fall beers. And as we're going through this series of Oktoberfest beers, I tried to pick stuff that I was hoping wouldn't be too uh, 
too overpowering in those flavors that I'm not a big fan of. Um, all that being said, I am I'm a big fan of Ballast Point, and so I'm looking forward to checking out uh, that beer. So let's get to it. All right, second beer is out of the fridge, so let's get right to it. From Ballast Point Brewing Company in San Diego, California, this is Dead Ringer Oktoberfest Lager. Check out that art. From the brewery, a fresh take on a traditional festival beer. Our Dead Ringer Oktoberfest Lager is inspired by old-style Mars and Brews, customarily enjoyed during Bavaria's world-famous beer festival. Thanks to an abundance, abundance of toasted malt and a lower hop bitterness, this reddish, this dark reddish-brown lager is loaded with sweet caramel toffee flavors and aromas. All the taste and celebration of Oktoberfest packed into one bottle. No later hosing required. 6% uh, ABV, 26 IBUs. So let's pour. Uh, much darker than the first one, as it said, uh, a copper, dark reddish brown color. That's what they say. I would call that almost like reddish copper. I would say less brown, but I guess copper is somewhat brown. About maybe a finger's worth ahead, maybe a little bit more. Um, not much carbonation in the glass. Uh, that's a really pretty color, though. I like that color. It's a little hard to see on video, but it's a. Uh, it is pretty. All right, let's give it a taste. Hmm. Much deeper flavor than the uh, the Thomas Creek Oktoberfest. I did did uh, drink some water in between tastings of the beer, so try to clear out my palate a little bit. Uh, but this is a much greater depth of flavor. Just a tad sweeter, a uh, little bit of, of a of maybe like a biscuity malt note. But um, some, some really sweet malt notes overall, and just again, the, a, a fair amount of spiciness as well. Getting the dark sugars, getting some caramel, getting I think more toffee than caramel, uh, personally. Um, not really anything burnt, just kind of the, the dark, what I call dark sugars. Maybe a little bit of a brown sugar note in there as well. Also quite tasty overall. But yeah, a whole lot more going on with this one than the, uh, the Thomas Creek Oktoberfest. The Thomas Creek was kind of just one note. With the the caramel hot, caramel malts rather, and this has a, a little more depth of spiciness. Again, not too much. I'm um, just a little bit sweeter. Not again, not over, not overpowering, but I'm um, definitely much more present than it was in the October in the Thomas Creek Oktoberfest beer. Yeah, very nice, very very nice overall. Big big fan of this one. It's delicious. So that's our second beer. That's two down. Uh, again, reviewed the Thomas Creek Oktoberfest Lager and the Ballast Point Dead Ringer Oktoberfest Lager. Uh, you can expect the next uh, next two Oktoberfest beers to be reviewed. I'm thinking Monday. Um, you'll have both, both of the the next two reviews will come early next week. I'm betting. So um, I'll be on the lookout for them. Four more beers to try total, and um, we'll see you then. You can find all of our reviews, video, and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description below. And if you are so inclined, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube page. That does it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.